what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Hide your boys. Them damn Catholic priests at it again. Australian police on Thursday charged the top Vatican cardinal of multiple counts of, get this, historical sexual abuse offenses. Cardinal George Pell, Pope Francis' chief financial advisor and Australia's most senior Catholic, is the highest ranking Vatican official to ever be charged in the church's long running sexual abuse scandal. Check out the video. Leave your comments and I'll come back with mine. For decades, allegations of covering up sexual abuse within the Australian Catholic Church have dogged him, but it never stopped George Pell from rising through the ranks to become one of the Vatican's most powerful. But now the 76-year-old Cardinal himself has been charged with multiple sexual assault offences, the result of a two-year investigation, sending shockwaves through the Vatican and around the world, police offering few details. Today, Victoria Police have charged Cardinal George Pell with historical sexual assault offences. Cardinal Pell has been charged on summons and he's required to appear at the Melbourne Magistrates Court on the 18th of July. Cardinal Pell is facing multiple charges in respect to historic sexual offences and there are multiple complainants. Cardinal Pell is one of Pope Francis's top advisers. As the Secretariat of the Economy, he is in charge of the Vatican's finances. He was also handpicked to sit on the Pope's eight-member advisory council, set up to address issues including sexual abuse within the church. Reading a statement from the Vatican just hours after the charges were laid, Cardinal Pell says he has endured a relentless character assassination and that he is innocent. I'm looking forward finally to having my day in court. I'm innocent of these charges. They are false. The whole idea of sexual abuse is abhorrent to me. Last year, Cardinal Pell refused to return to Australia to testify before a royal commission into the church's mishandling of sexual abuse. I regret that I didn't do more at that stage. Instead, he gave four days of testimony from a hotel in Rome, his doctors claiming he was too ill to fly. Survivors of sexual abuse at the hands of clergy overseen by Pell were angered by his answers that they felt showed a lack of understanding and empathy. This will be a monumental test for Pope Francis, who up until now has stood by the Cardinal. There is no extradition treaty between Australia and the Vatican. However, the Pope has given Cardinal Pell a leave of absence to return to Australia to defend himself. Anna Corrin, CNN, Hong Kong. First of all, there's nothing holy about the Catholic Church. The seminary is a training ground for pedophiles. Let's keep it real. Let's stop all this faking. You see the evidence. It's there. It's in your face. Time after time after time again. It's in your face. It happens so frequently that one can safely say that these are not isolated incidents. This is indicative of a predator culture within the Catholic Church. It's a predatory culture. That's what it is. Let's stop faking. This is how a pedophile gets to be one step from the Pope. You trying to tell me the Pope didn't know all those years? Oh, he knew. He's part of the culture. He's part of the problem. Within the Catholic community, there are thousands, if not millions, of dead people's skeletons packed on top of one another. Dead people who have been abused, sexually abused by members of the Catholic Church to be silenced as to not identify their abusers. 
The church has a long historical history of abuse, sexual abuse and slavery, sex slavery. This is fact, man. This ain't nothing I'm just making up. This is documented. This is all throughout the church. It's all throughout the Catholic Church. But then they walking around here like they holier than thou. Pope Francis walking around all slow and shit. Touching people like, uh, and they going crazy. Uh, my child, uh, all that old shit. Man, out of here, man. That's game. That's game, man. It's time to wake up off that game, man. The pedophiles flock to the Catholic Church. Name me one other institution that hire so many pedophiles. They swarm in the Catholic Church. And other churches, they have it going on too. This is a list of a lot of that going on in these other churches too. We ain't trying to get nobody a pass. Parents, let me tell you something. Guardians, let me tell you something. Never tell your children. Never allow them to be blindly obedient to authority because that is a surefire way for someone to take advantage of them who don't mean them any good. The reason why parents allow this to happen in the first place, you want to trust somebody. And if you can't trust the members of the clergy, man, who can you trust? You trust the person who earns your trust. You don't blindly trust anybody. That's what it is. See, this is why so many pedophiles flock to the Catholic Church because they are welcomed. The Pope welcomes them. He part of the problem. He one of them. Guarantee you, he just ain't been popped. He haven't been caught. He part of the problem. It ain't even natural for a man to not have sexual relations. That's not even natural. It don't even make sense. You, if he can't have a woman, who you think he having? Who you think he's laying up in the bed with? On his knees behind the altar with? What you think going on, man? Come on, let's keep it real. It's not natural. It's not natural at all. People need to stop giving the church a pass and start calling the church out for what it is. It's a culture of pedophiles. This is where the pedophiles go to school at. This is what a pedophile study. See, because this is what pedophiles do. Pedophiles try to figure out how they can get close to kids. Even, I mean, this goes on in schools too. Like really, anywhere you see kids congregating, that's, that's where you're going to find some pedophiles. That's where pedophiles live. They live amongst kids because they're trying to get close to what they like. That's why you got to be real careful of these coaches, teachers, principals, doctors, anybody that's got that's that's always you know in in close proximity to children. Be careful of that adult that's always volunteering to transport your children. Take your kids somewhere. Go pick your children up from school. Take them over here to the game. Take them to the to this concert, to that game, to this, to, you know. Look, I love children to death. And 
I love to spend time with my children and my friends and close family members' children. But I just don't have that kind of time to be always around children and always volunteering to accommodate children. I just don't have that kind of time. Mine, I do. But other people's children, I just don't have that kind of time. But there are some people who always got that time. And I'm telling you, be very, very careful with those people. I know it's hard to admit why people can't just be genuine. Why we got to not trust people. Why does everybody have to be a suspect? Hey, man, better safe than sorry. Why take a chance? Really? I mean, investigate it. I remember when my kids were very small, there was an after-school program at one of their teachers' homes. She had it set up at her home, and she was a nice lady, nice older lady, and I respected her and everything, but she had a son-in-law who was going to be dealing with the little boys, and she was going to be over the girls. And I was like, she, I don't know him. I went into the house, and I did a tour of her house. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, you're going to be here, here. Okay, okay, how are the kids going to the restroom? Okay, how are they going to be? Okay, how are they going to be supervised? Who's going to be? So, so okay, so he, what is the schedule? Like, they're going to go from this room. At what point are they in this room? What other parts of this house will they be in? Are they going to be allowed? What's off limits in this house? You know, I was like, okay, because they don't need to be nowhere. They don't need to be in any rooms. All they, they don't need to be in any rooms except a room that all the kids are congregating in and they're being taught in. That's it. They don't need to be all over the house. So I don't want mine all over the house. So I looked into it real strong. I investigated him. I, I ran his uh, criminal record and everything. I want to know. I talked to him, spoke to him. I let him know what my concerns were straight up. Now, I know it probably made them a little uneasy because nobody probably ever grilled them like that. But hell, man, I ain't. Man, damn your feelings, man. My number one job is to protect my children. So that's what I did. And I spoke to my kids before and after damn near every day. Okay, exactly. Tell me exactly what happened. Ooh, ooh, you know? Like, uh-uh, man. I ain't trusting them like that. So this is just getting back on point with this, this Catholic church. I think it's time to get rid of the Catholic Church. I don't think that you can root out the pedophiles because the pedophiles, is, they start at the top. They're, all, they're in all the key positions and they're protecting the new pedophiles that come in. I mean, it's, they got a long standing history of sexual abusing boys, especially kids, but boys in particular, they got a Special fascination for boys. Little boys. You got to watch them. Be very, very, very leery of this, this institution called the Catholic Church. Now I'm thinking, it's like it happens every few years. It's something, it's a, it's a big one happens every few years. And people get kind of excited. And then after a little while, it kind of disappears. And you, then you don't hit anything for the next few years. So right now, this is where we are with this guy caught in the pail. This dude, I don't believe him. In fact, I'm sure he's lying. I'm certain he's lying. But they're going to do a little PR work on this thing. And then they're going to sweep it under the rug one more time. Because all, all the Pope, all Pope Francis has to do is wash the foot, wash the feet of the poor with a hundred cameras staring at him. 
and everything and be cool again. Until another little boy gets raped. No more talk. What, what the lady's is talking about. Damn. Order, Texas.